welcome back to my channel, guys. Today, I'm going to be rating my favorite Pokemon games, and that is to say, pretty much all of them up to Sword and Shield, all of the main series titles, and I'm just going to be rating them uh, from S rank through to D, uh, based on my general impressions of the game. Uh, if I haven't played the game, but I've played its counterpart, then I'm obviously just going to pair those two games together, but if I have played the counterpart games separately, I will... Uh, rate them on their own merits. Uh, what differences could there be? Hard to say, but we'll see. Anyways, right out of the gate, uh, I did not play Alpha Sapphire, but I did play Omega Ruby, and those games are what I would consider to be the golden standard for remaking a Pokemon game. Uh, honestly, I don't think anyone's going to disagree with me that Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire were just perfect. Uh, if they could just go back to that being how they make games 100%, I wouldn't complain at all. Uh, then we have Black 2, and I'm going to give that a C rank. Uh, I didn't really much enjoy any of Gen 5. Uh, not much to say about it, really. It was, a, it was okay as far as a Pokemon game went, but uh, it and uh, Pokemon Black and White actually... Uh, they just talked too much for my liking, so that's how that goes. Uh, the original Pokemon Blue. I'm going to give that a generous B rank, uh, because it's it was one of the originals, uh, so it pioneered everything. It's like the most classic of titles, but Contrary to what some people would have you believe, it is not a perfect game. It is full of glitches. It is, for all intents and purposes, broken. So that's how I'm ranking that game. Uh, Pokemon Crystal, I'm going to have to throw that one up in S rank as well. Gen 2 might be my favorite gen. It took everything from Gen 1 that was broken, pretty much fixed it almost perfectly. Uh, and then Crystal, which I have played separately. Uh, I played all of the Gen 2 titles separately, actually. Uh, but Crystal just takes all the best of both of those games, Gold and Silver, amalgamates them together into the perfect playthrough. It is, if I, if somebody were to ask me, I'm going to start playing Pokemon for the first time ever, where, where should I start? I would probably tell them to start with Crystal, uh, possibly, among a few other choices, which we will probably get to. Uh, Diamond. Diamond is literally the first Pokemon game that I played on an actual console, not on an emulator. Uh, so there is a special place in my heart for Diamond, and there always will be. It's why I like Dialga so much, uh, among a lot of other features that were just introduced in Gen 4 as well. Uh, Pokemon Emerald, I'm going to give that an A rank. I know a lot of people would say that's S, uh, but I, I just consider the Gen 3 titles to be more or less above average, uh, so I think that's uh, appropriate to throw them in A. Uh, same story for Fire Red, uh, A rank. Then you've got Pokemon Gold. There's another A rank one. It's like I said, Crystal was the amalgamation of all of the best features of uh, Gold and Silver, uh, and then it put them all into one, so yeah. Uh, but Gold on its own is just an A rank, which there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, speaking of gold, Heart Gold, Heart Gold is going up into the S rank. Uh, same story as Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Heart Gold and Soul Silver are two of the best releases uh, in the Pokemon franchise to date, and probably ever will be. Uh, that's my opinion, but I feel like it's a popular one as well. Uh, Leaf Green's going to go right next to Fire Red. Uh, I'd never played. Uh, Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee. So I'm going to put them respectfully in B rank. Uh, I've heard a lot of good things about them and I've heard a lot of bad. Uh, but for all, as far as I understand, they are just another set of Gen 1 remakes. So the spiritual successors to Fire Red and Leaf Green, if you will. So from what I've seen, it looks like they serve that end pretty well. So I'm going to give them a B. I haven't heard anything amazing about them, however. Uh, Pokemon Moon, I'm going to give it a C. Uh, I, that game was fun, and it introduced a lot of cool stuff. Uh, I did not finish it, however, because it just bored me to tears with that story. 
Uh, less story, more game, please. Uh, I'm going to put Pearl right next to Diamond, because I'd never actually played Pearl. Uh, Platinum, I'm going to put it right next to the other two, because my understanding of Platinum is it was... Uh, most games will have like a third uh, title in its you know, lineup. Like it's got, you've got crystal, you'll have yellow, and then you had platinum, uh, which was pretty underwhelming compared to a lot of those other ones. So I'm just going to rate it as highly as I rated the two games it was based on, pretty much. Uh, the original Pokemon Red, which is one of my most played games in the series, I'm going to put it right next to blue, where it belongs. Uh, then you've got Ruby and Sapphire, uh, which. I don't think anyone will argue with me putting those up in A rank. Not at all. They are well made and they serve their purpose well. Probably some of the most let's played games out there, uh, right with Emerald, which I will put right next to those two as well. Uh, Pokemon Silver will go next to wherever I put Pokemon Gold. Uh, Pokemon Silver is actually the first Pokemon game that I ever played. Uh, on an emulator, of course. Uh, so that may have something to do with why I've rated uh, gold and silver so highly. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, I, I don't think there's any reason to rate it lower either. Uh, Soul Silver can go right next to Heart Gold. Uh, what's that? Pokemon Sun right next to Moon because at th this late in the franchise history, I don't think there's actually a lot of difference between the individual releases of any one particular game. Uh, so, uh, Ultra Moon and Ultra Sun, I'm going to put them right at the bottom because I didn't care for Sun and Moon. I never played Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, uh, but I never hear anything about what came from those games. Uh, I feel like if if you could have gone without the the sequel title to a specific Pokemon game, uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon probably would have been the ones you could have done without, and the Pokemon history would have just stayed completely the same. The community would not be horribly affected. Uh, we are going to put uh, White 2 next to Black 2. Uh, again, same game. Same game. Uh, and Pokemon White is going to go with Pokemon Black. Okay, and then after Gen 5, they finally released Gen 6, right? And that's when they released X and Y. And I have to say, I would put X and Y right at the top in S rank. Uh, those games uh, revived for me a lot of the, the, the wonder and amazement that I had for Pokemon growing up as a child. It did a really good job of immersing me and making me remember why I liked Pokemon so much. It's the game that got me into the competitive element of the game, which is like a whole basket on its own. So for sure, X and Y, S rank. Uh, Pokemon Yellow. Uh, this is a lot of people's favorite game, and I'm going to put it uh, just behind my head here in A rank, uh, just because it was such a cool idea. Uh, it played off the the success of the anime. It it was a real conversation starter at school to talk about having Pikachu actually follow you around, and that's an element that has been revisited in a lot of Pokemon games to date. So Pokemon Yellow specifically is quite the pioneer game in the entire series. As for Sword and Shield, I'm going to rate it probably a B rank, uh, just because, I've again, I haven't played Sword and Shield, but it is a game that I want to play. I don't know enough about it to really rate it fairly, so I'm going to put it in that B rank section, and we're going to see later. But I've seen a lot of good come out of it, and I've seen a lot of bad as well. The reception seems to be that middle ground, so that's what I'm going to reflect in my choices today. Anyways... Those are the choices that I've made for rating all of the Pokemon games up to Sword and Shield, all of the main series titles. Uh, comment what you would have put in S rank, because I really like to know. Uh, if you enjoyed watching this video, please leave a like, 
subscribe to the channel and remember to hit the bell icon so that you can be notified of future uploads when they make themselves available. Thank you very, very much for watching. Uh, until next time, have a good one.